Hey guys, in these next few lessons, I'm gonna show you how to count music. And in this first lesson right here, I'm gonna show you how to count beats and bars. But first you have to know a little bit about music theory. Basic music theory, don't get scared, it's not that hard. It's all about counting to four. Check it out. A bar or measure is made up of a group of beats that you can count so you know where you are in the music. What does a bar actually look like though? And how do you know how many beats to count in a group? Check it out. Music is written on a series of horizontal lines called a staff. A vertical line drawn through the staff is called a bar line. The bar is the space between two bar lines where the beats are grouped together. Notes are symbols that show how long a sound lasts. There are different kinds of notes and they all relate to each other mathematically. The longest sounding note is the whole note. It lasts for four beats and you can only have one whole note in a bar. One whole note is equal to two half notes, four quarter notes, eight eighth notes, and 16 sixteenth notes. A little fraction code at the beginning of the staff is called the time signature, and that tells you how to count the beats. Most of the music DJs play is in 4-4 four, four time, which means there are four beats in every bar. The top number in the fraction represents the number of beats to count in each bar, four beats. The bottom number indicates which type of note receives one beat, or count, the quarter note. Here's a tip for you. A bar of 4-4 four, four time is like a dollar bill. One dollar, being the whole note, is equal to four 25 cent quarters, which are the quarter notes. Since one bar is four beats, we count it one, two, three, four. Okay, so now that we got that down, let's start counting some beats. I'm just gonna play this song right here and we're gonna count the beats. We're gonna count one, two, three, four on all the head knots. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? Okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's start counting some bars. First, we gotta count the beats, right? One, two, three, four, and that's all the head knots, right? And so in four, four time, we have four beats to a bar, just kind of like the dollar is the whole note or the dollar is the bar, so to speak, and the head nods are the four beats, the quarters. So let's count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there we just counted a few bars, right? Now, if you want to keep track of where you are in terms of bars, then you want to count it sort of like one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. And that's four bars. So let's do it with the music. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. So there you have it. You just learned some basic music notation. Not so complicated, is it? It's just all about counting one, two, three, four. And we counted not only beats, but bars. And what we just did, we actually counted a phrase of eight bars, which we're going to go much deeper in in the next lesson. Check it out.